Hey guys, welcome back. Dr. Gonzalez here. Today I wanted to continue my educational series on carpal tunnel syndrome and I wanted to talk about some of the symptoms that our patients experience when they have carpal tunnel syndrome and also some of the tests that you could do at home to properly diagnose carpal tunnel syndrome. The first question that I want you to ask yourself is, do you have pain and numbness in the first three fingers, the thumb index and middle finger? Does this pain, numbness or tingling wake you up in the middle of the night? Or when you wake up in, in, the, in the morning, do you have some of this numbness and tingling? Do you sometimes feel yourself or you catch yourself doing this motion trying to bring in blood supply to the hand? Or do you sometimes have difficulty doing things around the house like opening a jar? Well, if you answer yes to some of these questions, there's a high likelihood that you actually are developing carpal tunnel syndrome or have carpal tunnel syndrome. The next thing that I would like you to do is to do a few tests to see if this uh, precipitates the symptoms. The first one is called the Tinel sign. The Tinel sign or the Tinel test is done by tapping on the carpal tunnel on top of the medium nerve, just like I'm dem demonstrating here. You're gonna do that for about 30 to 40 seconds. If this tapping reproduces a shooting pain to the fingers, that's what we call the positive Tinel sign. The other test that uh, I would like you to try is called the compression of Durkin's test which is done very similar to the Tinel sign, but instead of tapping, you're gonna put a gradual pressure, a strong pressure on top of the carpal tunnel, on top of the medium nerve. Sometimes you might actually have someone assist you and use both thumbs by putting, putting a gradual pressure on, on, the, on top of the nerve. You're gonna do this for about 30 seconds. Again, if you begin to experience shooting pain to these three fingers, you could stop as a positive test. The last test that I would like you to try is called the failings test. And this test is done by getting both hands and bending it at about a 90 degree angle, just like the way I'm showing you guys here. And you're gonna hold this position for about 60 seconds. What you're doing is you're kind of making the compression worse and irritating the nerve. If the nerve is abnormal, you're gonna develop some of the symptoms and that will be a positive test. Now go ahead and try this test. If any of these symptoms are being reproduced by this test, there's a high likelihood that you have developed carpal tunnel syndrome. And you might wanna to talk to a specialist about this. Now go ahead and, and try it.